Hello, this is ethnobotanist Mark Williams coming to you again to talk more about plants. Today we're at the Chestnut Herbal School and Nursery in lovely Leicester, North Carolina, just outside of Asheville in the Appalachian Mountains. And what I'd like to talk with you today is about the plant plantain. Not the plantain, the starchy banana from the tropics, but this plantain, this common garden weed that people often see. This one being the Plantago lanceolata, the lance leaf plantain. This one being uh, the Plantago major, the wide leaf plantain, right here. And those are both in the Plantaginaceae family, so this is the typical genus for that family. This plant is a great plant medicinally, mostly I think of it topically used to uh, heal skin irritations, uh, bug bites, scrapes, and that sort of thing. You can use it in the field fresh and just take a leaf and make what's called a spit poultice. Crushing up the cell walls, applying it to the affected area, it provides this astringency that sucks out toxins and also a slight analgesic effect to give uh, some relief from the pain. So this plant has probably made more medicinal herbalists out of any person than uh, any other plant maybe because it's ubiquitous across North America. They would call it white man's footprint because it seemed to follow everywhere the settlers went. And sometimes, you know, it will pretty much get uh, poisons poured on top of it in order to get rid of it when it's actually here to try to provide this amazing medicine. So um, that's uh, two common types of plantain, and then there's also the psyllium plantain, plantain ovata, which is used to cleanse out the colon is a common uh, thing put into Metamucil, for instance. And we've got uh, some close-ups of this amazing plant here for you to see. We've got the Plantago lanceolata at the bottom here. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see it's lance-leafed and it's got these uh, raised ribs to uh, the veination there on the bottom. And then you've got the Plantago major at the top there, the wide-leaf one. And you can also maybe see the raised uh, ribs that help you to identify it at the bottom. Thanks for joining us today and hope to see you many more times to talk about plants and their uses.